John, uh, what what very uh, uh, common observation in 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 around the world? What I find that uh, it looks like your framework is one of the most misinterpreted framework that we have around. Uh, you know, people, uh, it's easily available for them to download, but you know uh, why they are getting it so wrong. Well, I think that the. Uh fundamental problem is it looks very simple. It's a two-dimensional schema. It's a matrix, if you will, and people see familiar words in the matrix and they think they know everything about it. Uh, but they haven't spent any time to really understand what the implications of it are or what, is to, what it is classifying or they don't understand what the, uh, the structures of the classification are. So, or they don't understand what they might do with this. So, I, I might use a metaphor like the, like a chemistry metaphor in the periodic table. You can download the periodic table, and you can recognize a few words in the periodic table, and you could say, "Oh yeah, I understand that." But you didn't go to four years of university training to understand what the classification was and what right. the components of the of the structure are and right. what you do with them. Right. So one thing is the, the classification of the periodic table, it classifies elements. The, they are single variables. They are elements and they are timeless. The elements are timeless. But you use the elements to create compounds. Compounds are temporal. They're good for some specific reason at some specific time. So you have to understand the classification of the periodic table and the rules of association before you understand how you create the elements right. or how you create the compounds. Now, my, my framework is identical. My framework is like a periodic table. It defines the elements and classifies them in unique categories from right. which you can create any composite Im implementation concept that, the enter that an enterprise requires. Right. But you have to understand the schema. You have to understand the classification. You have to understand what the rules of association are and how you create that. That doesn't happen if you just glance at the framework, recognize a few words, and say, oh, I know that. So there's a, 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 a fundamental problem. Right. Um, so what, what, I'm, what I'm hearing you say is that uh, you know, similar to a periodic table, uh, just downloading the periodic table and understanding few elements um, you don't really understand the the, the entire uh, schema behind the periodic table, and not only that, uh, the the real challenge is to understand the application of that, uh, how you combine those elements to create the chemical compounds. And similarly, you're saying, though your framework is simple, but if somebody doesn't understand the schema behind it, and if they don't understand how to apply these primitives of your uh, your framework to create and address the enterprise problem, is that what you're saying? It is very similar to chemistry as a discipline. You have to study the underlying laws of nature, the periodic table, understand the implications of it before you become competent to create uh, implementations or com compounds from the periodic table. Uh, and you, you don't learn that overnight. You have to understand what the structures are. So my framework is basically uh, the same in that regard. It's the foundation for a discipline. Right. And by the way, before Mendeleev published the periodic table, there were chemists. They, they weren't really chemists. They were alchemists. Right. They, they didn't have the periodic table. So right. everything they did was by trial and not error. It was right. their, they were trying to discover best practices. There was no science. Right. So the periodic table forms the basis of a science that we now call chemistry. And if you want to learn how to build compounds, you have to understand the periodic table. It's the same fashion. Uh, we have a lot of people who build systems uh, today, but they build them based upon their experience and it's a best practice. Uh, there is no science. There is no discipline. And I would submit that my framework is an ontology that forms the basis for a science of creating 
uh, enterprises. It's the science of enterprise engineering, if you will, enterprise engineering and manufacturing. So the metaphor is a useful metaphor to understand uh, what the, my framework is, is uh, how it how it uh, is how it fits in the context right. of uh, of reality. Thank you.